So, there has been a ton of rumors about Neymar potentially returning to Barcelona after he left to PSG two years ago. And there's a lot of conflict about the idea of Neymar putting on the Blaugrana jersey once again. Some people want him, some people are neutral about it, and some people are completely against the idea due to how he left the club and well... Here's my thoughts on Neymar coming back. So, we all know that while Neymar has done good things for the club, he also has done some bad things. For example, he once tried to sue the club and get UEFA to exclude Barcelona from the Champions League. Obviously, this made a lot of Barca fans uh, angry and dislike him. It's one of the reasons people don't want him back. Okay, you're mad about Neymar uh, suing the club and excluding uh, them from the Champions League. At least he tried to exclude them from the Champions League. But he can make up for it. And you're probably wondering, what? Come on, he can't make up for that. He literally wanted his own club out of the biggest competition of the season yes what he did was pathetic it really was but but since he tried to sue the club and get them out of the champions league maybe he can make up for it by being clutch and winning the team the champions league we know that in these two nights against liverpool and roma barcelona were one goal away from progress progressing just one but that one goal somehow never quite came. It just never comes. That The goal that sends the team through. Maybe Neymar can come clutch in these moments. You don't know. Save the team from doom and gloom. Really help the team win the Champions League. And he went from trying to exclude the club from the Champions League to winning the club the Champions League. I mean, think about that. And saving them from humiliation as well. So yes, he did sue the club and try to exclude the team from the Champions League. But he can still make up for it by winning the team, the Champions League. And now, another reason people don't want him is how he snaked on the club very late in the transfer window. And left uh, Bartimu in a very tough situation where he had to panic by Usman Dembele from Dortmund. The club could have got him for much cheaper than 100 million, you know. Okay, yes, he did snake on the club, but like they say, we all make mistakes, everybody should be given a second chance. If Neymar really, and I mean really wants to come back, yes, he has a lot of ground to make up for, but maybe, maybe the club should give him a second chance. There's also the worry that Dembele's development might stagnate if Neymar joins. Barcelona because obviously it's going to be a challenge to fit in Dembele with Griezmann, Messi, Neymar er, and maybe even Suarez and I agree this is definitely a concern we all know how talented Dembele is how much he potentially has how if he reaches p his potential he'd easily be one of the best players in the world but there's a way around this there probably is Neymar can play in the left wing, Messi can play as an attacking midfielder, Dembele at right wing, and Griezmann at striker. Right? Well, there's still ways you can see it and just say, well, this doesn't work. I mean, Messi and Neymar both play the exact same role nowadays, and we're still not sure if Griezmann can work as a 9. Yes, he does, definitely does have the attribute buttes of a nine like good work rate good off the ball movement good creativity good link up plays good finishing etc but can he really play as a nine like he has the attributes but can he play as a nine we'll see but the real concern is if neymar and messi will work in a trio like it did back in 2016 and 2015 but it Neymar can play as a true winger and Griezmann can play as a 9, then Griezmann, Neymar, Messi and Dembele is the way to go with Suarez competing with Griezmann and Malcolm competing with Dembele. There's also the problem of his attitude and discipline. I think if, and I mean if he signs for Barca, 
he should have his wages vary on his performances. So if he underperforms, he gets lower wages. And if he performs, he gets higher wages. That way, he would actually fix up and be more dedicated to the club. If he doesn't want that, then he really shouldn't come back. Also, he needs to know that if he comes back, he's not going to take Messi's spotlight. And every attacker that plays for Barcelona nowadays knows that. No matter what, Messi's the star of the club until he retires. So let's say you're the main reason Barca win the treble. Messi's still going to get the Ballon d'Or and, and most of the credit anyway. Because he's the star. If you can't cope with that, then this isn't the right team for you. Now I said that his wages should depend on how he performs, but I also think his wages shouldn't be too high. He, he would get high wages, he definitely would, if he comes. But there should be the right wages when he joins. Not too low, not too high. And yes, again, I would rather have his wages vary on his performances. To me though, the three main concerns of him coming back is his role, the club's finances, and his uh, availability in general. I'm not sure if he can play as a prolific winger rather than a 10 because that doesn't work with Messi in the team nowadays. He's too expensive to sign and I, like I said, I really hope his wages aren't too high. And yes, there is talk about some uh, swapping some players for him, but really, I just swap Coutinho and Rakitic with Neymar plus some cash. Wouldn't want the transfer to cost any more than 100 million in total. I'd rather it be Coutinho and Rakitic with around an extra 50 or 100 million uh, in there. Otherwise, it would be too much because, after all, the club still needs a left back to compete with Alba. Also, he has been injury prone these past two seasons. We all know how he had he was out for injury for almost half a year last season and the one before. And how even when he came back from injury, he got injured again before the Copa America even started. I don't know why he's becoming so injury prone, but hopefully he isn't that injury prone if he comes back. So, in conclusion... Do I want him to come back or not? Well, I don't really have a straight answer. There are a lot of positives, but there are also a lot of negatives uh, when to signing him. It would definitely be a huge risk uh, to bring him back to the Camp Nou. But hey, life is all about risks, right? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm quite split up on this. I love the idea of having Neymar, Messi, Dembele, and Griezmann together on paper. But I'm not 100% sure if it, whether or not it'll work out. But if he does come back, I'll still support him. Because, you know, he's a Barca player and I support the team. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'm signing out.